Alright, hey everyone, my name is Muffin and welcome back to Castaway Islands. Today we are going to be mining a little bit. I've actually done quite a lot of it off of camera. I have a ender chest over here. I just dumped a bunch of the stuff in here. I got quite a few bits of lapis here. So a lot of blocks of diamonds. I've got 60 emeralds, some gold ore. Uh, what's this up here? Uh, another block of 64 block of diamond. And because this is on the elite side of the uh, uh, server of Castaway Island so if you do pay for the rank you can come in here and you can pretty much just mine all of the greatest materials of all time someone's actually if I go down here you'll see how much he's actually mining at the minute it's crazy he's mined like everywhere I need this mine to get replenished just because he seems to have taken everything I mean oh my god look at him who is this guy uh what how do you even pronounce that Snop face x snop face x okay that's odd but yeah i'm going to mine some of this until my inventory is full and then we're going to take the rest that i have inside of my um my chest up there and i guess we're going to see how much money we get i'm assuming we're going to get over 100k i mean we must we're currently on 2000 if you look over to the right and i think we're going to become very rich after this i think we're going to be able to spend all the money on the minecraft booty and hose because that's the way we roll in Minecraft <laughs> in Castaway Island. We'll probably have to like, we could probably buy like an inflatable ball, like Wilson, we'll name it Wilson, uh, like Castaway, the movie. We're like, Wilson! And we're kind of like, okay, that's kind of weird. I was talking about, we could spend all of our money on Beauty and Heart and then I talk about a blow up ball instead of a blow up, okay. Yeah, let's just move on right now. This is getting pretty, pretty strange, pretty, ugh. You know, this is a this is a child-friendly channel, people. Good lord! All right, so let's head back up here because we're kind of getting stuck down here. Uh, the good thing is though, if it does all get replenished uh, and you're down at the bottom here, you don't get stuck. You won't like suddenly be at the bottom of this place, starting to like suffocate because that would suck. You kind of get spawned straight back up to the top. And now, uh, yeah, we still got quite a bit to go actually. So. Um, I think I may skip ahead, like fast forward a bit, do a bit of a time lapse and you'll see me mine some of this because it'd be a bit boring if you was to sit here for hours and hours and watch all of this and look at all of this gold. I want all of the emeralds because I believe that the emeralds are the best that you can get here money wise. So I will guess I'll see you in a few seconds time. Alright, so I managed to get a lot of stuff there, a lot of gold and a lot of emeralds. Um, there is quite a bit of cobblestone, but I guess that still has a bit of value. So I'm going to head back up now, uh, kind of mine my way out. Hopefully I'll bump into some more emeralds. And I guess we're going to head over to the store, the shop, whatever you want to call it, and sell some of this awesome ore. The great thing about having this diamond pickaxe is it has a uh, fortunate three on it. So if you don't know what that means, I'm sure you do if you're watching Minecraft videos, but if you don't, what it means is, is say if there was a diamond block and you mined it, you can sometimes get like four, I believe is the max amount of diamonds you can get on something like that on a, on a diamond block. Uh, if you was to mine it with a normal pick, you'd get three. But if you was to mine it with one of these pickaxes, the Fortune 3, uh, you'll pretty much get double whatever it is that you mine. So if you do happen to mine one, you'll just get two. If you happen to mine two, you'll get four and so on and so forth and it's a really cool way of just being able to get double everything it's really really useful for uh, getting yourself like full diamond armor and all of if you, if you can do that um, you can obviously get all of like diamond hose and tools and all of those kind of things that are pretty much unnecessary like you don't really need a diamond pickaxe really I mean an iron is sufficient enough because all you're gonna be doing really is just mining 
like a point two of a second faster um you know there's not much point to having a demon pickaxe other than if you're like heading to the end kind of thing uh because that's probably when it'd be useful but if you're just going to be using it to do this kind of like normal mining like strip mining you might as well just stick with an iron pick and it's, it's so hard to get out you kind of need to build a staircase but i don't want to build up uh because i'm just going to end up getting myself more cobblestone i want to find like the richest pathway the richest stairs and dig my way up that way because then at least that way I'll be able to get myself uh, get, get myself some nice ores on the way up make it a bit more worthwhile oh no okay that's good I thought he was going to fall off alright so let's just get a few more pieces up here at the top and that should probably be it yeah we seem to be pretty full I managed to get quite a bit like that 35 diamonds on that one go 11 blocks of diamond 2 blocks of emeralds got 28 emeralds there that's a lot um, so yeah let's head over here now um, actually no I won't, I won't go to the end of chest just yet I'll go to the spawn quickly and um, head back to one of the other islands because I don't believe that there's a shop on the elite island so here we are, here's Patrick as usual. Uh, we're back on Genobi Island, the, the original island where we started. Uh, how I remember you, friend. How we was all, <laughs> how we was looking around here. We went over to the trees and we got like started chopping it down. That was our first experience on Costaway Island. That was a lot of fun. That was a very long while ago. It was like two, maybe three months ago. Uh, we should probably are getting very close to the final island now. So soon enough. Um, Custody Islands will be coming to a close, which is pretty sad. Uh, this is to smelt. Is there anything we could... I don't know. Should you reckon we should smelt it all? Or do you reckon we'll get more money for golden ore? Let's do an experiment. Let's mine one uh, piece of golden uh, ore here. And we'll just get a piece of gold. A little gold ingot. And we'll see how much that costs. Like there. Okay, don't, don't do no more. Okay, I guess we're going to get one more. And then we'll see how much it costs with um okay that's it no why is it doing more stop okay stop okay come out of there um throw that on the floor I threw it in his face in the face uh so if we head over here i guess we could kind of like compare um what it is so if we was to give one of those away how much money do we get 15 dollars. okay and how much do we get for one gold there 12 dollars. okay so you get a little bit more money if you smelt it so let's go in here and smelt some more of this stuff in here. Uh, what should we smelt? We should probably smelt all of the gold, um, the iron, I guess. Um, I guess we could probably sell all of this stuff like lapis and diamond while that smelts because that stuff doesn't need to be smelted. Of course. So we're back with uh, Bet Rookie here, and let's put all of this lapis in, block of iron, um, all of this. There's a lot of stuff. Still think we get quite a bit of money for all of this. Um, I don't know if we should do the coal or not. Yeah, let's actually no, let's keep it just for the minute, just in case we need some more for all of this stuff. Don't need none of this cobble. You probably get some more fuse to smelt that into smooth stone, but we can't be we can't be bothered with none of that stuff. Um, and that gold ingot. Let's see how much money you get. So over here to the side we have two thousand five hundred and sixty dollars. So bam. Whoa, we got 42,000 for that. That was a lot. So I have no idea how much all of this is going to cost in here. This is all of this gold. It's probably going to give us like another 30k on top of that. Um, but while that's smelting, I quickly want to just talk to you for a little bit. Let me do slash feed. Um, by the time you're seeing this video, I will be moving house because I'm leaving uh, my area <laughs> in London. Uh, I'm still staying in London, but I'm going to be moving just a little bit down the road and so what that actually means is I'm not gonna have any internet for like a week so what I'm doing uh, well what you're seeing is one of the pre-recorded videos that I'm gonna have on my channel over the next uh, 10 days I believe it's so 10 days 10 videos because uh, this summer I've been doing a lot of daily videos I uh, just cause I have a lot more time uh, because it's the summer and uh, oh look someone's actually just said Meggy Moo, hey, I'm I, I'm I'm a fan. I saw on Twitter you're moving. See, Meggy, she knows what's up. She's actually a proper fan. Let's just say, uh, reply and say, thank you. Yes, I was just talking about that. Aww. 
<laughs> so there we go that was just a bit of a coincidence but as i was saying 10 days 10 different videos and what i've got lined up for you is two castaway island videos which are these ones here so there'll be one more after this um, i'm gonna have one more youtuber destruction i'm not sure which uh youtube i'm gonna be doing yet i want to do dan but as i've said before there's so much stuff to do with dan and i'm not a very great builder so for me to build dan grim and treoris it's going to be pretty hard and i think i might save that for a little bit of a future episode kind of like tease you with it uh because that's three statues and that's going to take up so much of my time which i don't really have right now because as i said i've got to make 10 videos um so i think i might do someone else maybe martin in a little or someone like that you know squid probably um, so yeah, YouTuber Destruction you can expect to come up, two Castaway Island videos, there's going to be another scary game because you guys seem to love me uh, pretty much freaking out at Shrek the other day, and there's also going to be, what else is there going to be, I'm still going well, uh, I'm also going to be doing a little mini game uh, of Hunger Games, so what I'm thinking about doing is maybe starting a series of Hunger Games, because one of my friends, I saw this the other day, And um, what he does is he actually does challenges um, on what's it called uh, Skyblock Survival, I think it was. Uh, so kind of like when he was doing Sky Skyblock, he'd be like, "Oh, uh, let, today we're just going to be using an axe, or we're just going to be stuck on our one little island." And he just do all of these kind of little challenges, and it makes it a lot more interesting to watch because when I've done Hunger Games videos before, they're pretty fun to do but after a while they kind of get boring and it says everyone does the same old stuff you know it's not entirely fun when there's like 20 different youtubers out there uh doing minecraft videos on the hunger games and god dang it i clicked that and it didn't load so i bought a whole new one can i sell it now i thought i'd do some fishing while i talk to you and let all of that smelt so you go in there <sighs> it didn't even get as much money as i'd hoped off that <laughs> So I lost money, uh, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I think if I was to, let's go on the boat. I think if I was to do uh, challenges, it'd make it a lot more interesting, so much more fun. Um, so if I do that, I'll probably end up doing the first episode, a challenge of my own. And then in the comments below, you can kind of stick your own little questions and um, questions uh, you can stick your own little challenges in there for me to do um, me saying questions was because I was thinking of the next thing I was gonna say and uh, the other video is the Q&A so it's been quite a while since that vlog in which I said leave your questions below and I've got about 40 questions at the minute so that's what I'm gonna be doing uh, over the next few days I'm gonna go and record that uh, answer some of your frequently asked questions and oh, come on gonna get ourselves a fish what the hell is happening here it's like glitching out there we go all right so uh yeah that so far we've got two Cosway island videos we've got ourselves a q and a we've got youtuber destruction and there's going to be three parts to mystery of the timekeeper we're currently on part four i believe so that's going to probably bump us up to episode five six uh maybe a few more i mean i'm not entirely sure how long mystery of the timekeeper goes on for i thought it was like a medium-sized map but it seems like it's got a pretty big story behind it so that's going to be pretty cool if you do enjoy that series it's, it's pretty fun to record so it's a lot better than all the other minecraft uh custom maps i've played over the last uh year or so there's a man in the water. He's going for the squid. He's going for the squid. He's going to eat him. Uh, so let's head over to this island here and get some more fish. Um, what else is there? I do have a list on my computer. Hang on. Let me uh, access it real quick. Because I'm totally forgetting some of them. I mean, I definitely could remember them if I was to think about it. But um, if I was to do that while trying to commentate, you get kind of me going, uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Leave me alone! Uh, okay, here we go. So we got ourselves this, 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 scary room, uh, YouTube sucks, Hunger Game. Oh yes, and I'm going to be doing a mod. Uh, maybe a two mod video. So, mod video, Hunger Games challenge, YouTuber's destruction, three mystery videos, one scary game, one Q&A, and two Castaway Islands videos. So there you go. That's all that I'm going to be doing over these next ten days. I might do some mini games with other people like Williamo, because I know he's uh, he wanted me to do some videos with him because he was going on holiday uh, a few weeks back. Um, but it was a little bit too late. Like he had to leave for the airport in like two hours, and he was like, I don't know if I've got enough time to record edit render and upload this so it comes to fish 
Ha! Got ya. So we kind of said, okay, when you come back from holiday, we'll, we'll try again. Because uh, now it's my time to stack up on videos. So that's what you can expect over the next few weeks. I'm going to go back and smoke the rest of this stuff now so you don't have to sit around and we'll see how much money we make. All right, so Smeltsmith has taken his sweet time with uh, smoking all of this stuff right here. It's taken me about an hour nearly to do all of that stuff. So I'm going to go over to the store here, sell it, and then wrap it all up. I've waited so long uh, for all of this stuff here to get um, smelted. So hopefully we're going to get a good dollar dollar for it. Um, yeah, 4,000, is that it? Oh, that makes me so sad. I had so much um, time put into that. I was literally just sat here watching videos on my iPad as everything smelted. And I guess we have 49,000, which isn't enough to get us to the next island. I think it was like a million uh, to get us to uh, the next island. And I think there's like a total of three final islands left. Uh, so I guess we're going to be having a lot of fun with that. And my fishy on a little dishy, when the fry comes in, has been cooked. I'm going to cook my salmon here. And uh, I need to eat it because that was a lot of work smoking all of that stuff. So that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to give it a like. The next episode will be uh, in the description below. Uh, right at the top. If you haven't seen last episode, there's also a link right there. Uh, that's it. My name is Within. Goodbye.